there are no brakes on these vessels. In fact, commercial director for OC Group, which developed the Extreme 40 sailing series, describes them as weapons, not boats. He says, collisions are not par for the course in most sailing classes, but they are in the extremes. The series, in Hong Kong's Victoria Harbour for the first time last month, is likened to Formula One racing because of its speed. A gap was seen in the Grand Prix sailing market for fast inshore catamarans, and the series has taken off in cities such as Venice and London. With less than three months' notice, Hong Kong hosted six boats in the inaugural Extreme Sailing Series Asia. Yeah, it's great to be out here in Hong Kong sailing on these fantastic Extreme 40s and it's great that the series, the Extreme A Sailing Asia series came here out in Hong Kong. So it's fantastic to have the boat zipping around in the harbour. The event served as a foretaste of what is to come next November with the Louis Vuitton Trophy featuring America's Cup boats also racing in the harbour. but you have to risk sometimes that you be in the front. So we are very happy, we are very happy with the event. It's wonderful here in, in Hong Kong to sail. We get every day some breeze. I mean, this week's just been amazing. Um, we've, none of us have come to Hong Kong before and we didn't really know what to expect. And we've had um, every condition of sailing thrown at us. We've had up to 20 knots of wind um, and a little bit lighter today, but um, it's been amazing. And to sail these boats in such a spectacular location as Hong Kong is, uh, is brilliant. And we've uh, had a fantastic week here. The Extreme Sailing Series Asia finishes with the final leg in Muscat, Oman in February. For the South China Morning Post, this is James Moore.